888-344-9255. And, of course, we must talk about the victory of Scott Walker in Wisconsin and how the newspapers in America buried the story because they are on the side of big unions and big dem- the, big, the big Democrat Party. These are very important stories. I'd like to play for you the soundbite from Scott Walker where he thanks basically people for their prayers. And I want you to compare that with the atheism that's coming out of the White House. Listen. Next, I I particularly want to thank you for your prayers because for the last year and a half, the thing that has sustained Tonette and I and Matt and Alex is people many times, people I've never met before, come off the line, come off the farm and say, Governor, we're praying for you and your family. I can't tell you what that means to me. Notice the emphasis on the word prayer. uh, My ears perked up when he said that. The word prayer is not allowed from uh, the Obama White House. If you say prayer, uh, you're fired from the White House. You're not allowed to make any mention of it. And then listen to the next two clips. They're very important, two and three. For me, it was the first trip to Independence Hall. And even though as a kid growing up, I thought of our, our founders as superheroes, as bigger than life, standing in that hall, it dawned on me that these were ordinary people, ordinary people who did something quite extraordinary. They didn't just, they didn't just risk their political careers. They didn't just risk their businesses. They literally risked their lives for the freedom we hold so dear today. And the men and women in uniform in this country defend every single day in times of crisis. Now listen to what he just said. Compare Scott Walker's speech to Obama and then compare it to Romney, who says almost nothing. I frankly think Scott Walker ought to run for the presidency. At least he should be nominated as as the vice president. If Romney had any any desire to really win the American people, he should take Scott Walker's campaign uh, strategy and campaign advisors and fire all of his brutuses and use them. Listen to clip three now. In times of crisis, what has made America amazing has been the fact that throughout the more than 200 years of our history, there have been men and women of courage who stood up and decided it was more important to look out for the future of their children and their grandchildren than their own political futures. Wow. God, do we need to hear men like this. It makes you remember what America is. Because when Obama speaks, my heart drops. When Obama speaks, I feel sick. When the Democrats who attack the flag and country and the military and the police and the family on every single occasion, in every single speech, I get sick. And then I get angry. And then I get on the radio. And then I roar and tell you exactly what's going on in this country. It's as simple as that. So I'll take your calls if you care to comment on any of these things. And we'll see what you have to say about these things on The Savage Nation. New York City, W-O-R, Bill, go ahead, you're first up in this hour.